It felt like a thousand cries at once cried boxes, not blind bags. Hey guys, welcome to The Cool Factor, this is Mike. Video, LEGO video was announced officially today. We had some teasers in the past, just a few weeks ago. Today they shown what is coming to us in the first wave, coming March 1st, as we call it Series 1. We have minifigure series, collectible minifigure series from video, and we have things they called bead boxes and a bunch of collectible tiles called bit bits. Uh, there's a lot to it. So, you know, in this video, I'm gonna try to cover the news about video. I'm not gonna really talk about the AR functionality of this thing. It's basically a TikTok for Lego. You, there's an app with augmented reality that can make, uh, that kids with that can make really cool uh, music videos with provided Lego assets. But I'm gonna actually refer you about that to the review from David Hall from Solid Brick Studios. He actually did a quite lengthy review, uh, including showing the actual app on his phone, so you can technically see everything and how it works in that video. Highly recommended, shout out to David. I'm gonna refer that there, but I wanna focus on those minifigs. I wanna focus on those sets. There's, I think, something that, uh, well, we may like about this, or something we may not like about this. Well, as I said, the blind bags are gone, at least for this series. Now, I do not know if that's gonna be a recurring occurrence that the next series of minifigures uh, from outside of video will be in those cardboard boxes, but that of course means there is no way to fill for your collection. There is no way, it's, it's an actual blind purchase unless you squeeze the text, you know, paper bag, paper box and uh, well, or, or cut it and whatever you do. It's not possible to find what's inside unless you like what rattle or wait and you have like perfect uh, hearing. It's not <laughs> possible. So that's a big deal for me. I'm an expert in filling minifigures. You guys know me. I can find anything and I'm pretty good at this. So this is a bit of a bummer, like a bit, a large of a bummer. So no more filling for minifigures. Uh, probably many people would just get them after market once. Like how do even people know uh, unopened what's inside? You're going to have to. There is a lot to it, right? So. It's a big deal, in my opinion, and that's something that may really frustrate a lot of people. But here we are. Video is the first minifigure collectible series that doesn't involve uh, our classic polybag uh, blind bags. But that out of the way, we have solid series, like really solid series, with super colorful characters, beautiful selection here, and honestly, I really want those, obviously. So let's go really quick through these, what we have. The bunny on the left, uh, by the way, each one of these I should mention comes not only with the minifigure, but you get the three beat beats. Uh, one of them is apparently um, specific to each character, but two uh, additional ones are random extras that can differ by each box. So a lot of people will be collecting these and they are kind of glorified Nexonite collectibles of sorts, but each one of them activates a different uh, asset in the app, be it a, a dance move or a background as I believe. They, they do something specific to the character, but also uh, with collecting those makes you make even more customized uh, video videos. Man, that's such a weird pronunciation. But yeah, check out David's video about how the app works. Uh, the big part of his review is how the app works and it actually explains a lot what we can expect. These are cool printed uh, beautiful tiles and I see people collecting them along with the minifigures. But we have the bunny with a dual molded head with a really awesome uh, pink hair on, on, on top of that. Colorful uh, outfit and the beatbox on top of that in the teal color. Then we have a uh, lady straight up from some haunted dim or, or hidden side, whatever. She's awesome with the ghost uh, lower body that, uh, you know, I remember from, for example, the, I forgot the name, Silent Mary, Silent Mary, there you go. That was this, uh, it, I think they were also in Ninjago. And that's Bellatrix Lestrange, Harry Potter, her mold on top of that. So she's awesome. Uh, tiles are like, again, that's tile for her, but both the, the, the remaining two are random for the character. The ice cream guy, I think, uh, was also kind of teased before. This was an official announcement and he gets an extra super cool new head mold with dual with printed arms, uh, overall uh, chocolate ice cream outfit with a saxophone, really cool head. Uh, people said like, this looks like Fortnite. There is a, a bit of a Fortnite in this whole thing. And I think people are even were saying today as of news that Fortnite was actually teased. Lego Fortnite, can you imagine? Was teased in the, um, the teaser 
for video with the llama and there is like a Fortnite llama appearing in the trailer. Check it out, it's, it's all over YouTube right now. People are speculating that LEGO actually teased Fortnite uh, in some way with the video teaser, which kind of checks out because these characters look like Fortnite skins. We have the cowboy, uh, like a country singer, <laughs> with a really cool print overall, uh, very colorful uh, with blue elements to it and a cowboy hat. I don't really see the head up close here, but he also gets a special tile with a horse. Um, that cheetah uh, sort of costume uh, reminds me of one of those kids cartoons very much and also I think goes well in pair, in pair with the bunny. Uh, pretty much so and also colorful outfit for his dance. I think there's a tail included. You can see the tail element in between the torso and the legs. Uh, the cheerleader, uh, we have the Harley Quinn, uh, her mold. And I think that also was available in one of the minifigure series. The two pompons <laughs> for dancing and very colorful outfit as well. Uh, with a really cool tile to her. So I like that one as well. The third animal is, uh, a little, I think it's a fox of sorts also the prints i mean i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep saying the prints are awesome because they are they're just great colorful looking so those minifigures are very attractive appealing visually and can provide a lot of fun just just having them on on any display along other minifigures of course a great beatbox this minifigure uh, sort of like a kitar alien uh, reminds me I, I i get these futurama vibes you guys i get the futurama vibes from the one-eyed alien a uh, really cool new mold with the hair and the little antennas from the alien, so definitely gonna be probably a fan favorite just because of that. Futurama vibes all the way. There's, uh, I think it's like a sort of a genie, uh, really cool lower body mold and uh, tambourine. I think that's the, that's the uh, instrument. Uh, purple skinned uh, head and uh, kind of like more, more, more of a usual hair mold for this. A minifigure, the wolf, monster fighters all the way, the werewolf, uh, I think also gonna be a fan favorite just because of, of the comeback of the werewolf. Uh, the shark guy, my favorite, honestly, of all of these, maybe next to the guitar guy, but the shark guy, super cool. Funny enough, I'm gonna put a picture in here, he was teased in one of the newest LEGO City sets in a skate park set. There is a little print on him on one of the elements of the set and shout out to April B from Twitch. Uh, she mentioned that today in the stream on Beyond the Brick and it's actually true that it, this guy was actually teased in a city set. And the last guy, I'm not sure what his name is, but this is like a samurai hat, very Garmadoni style from Ninjago, a breather mask on top of that, really, really crazy dude, but honestly not my favorite. Colorful, but, but not as unique as many others. So that's the minifigure series. Again, it's gonna be hard to get because of, the, because of that box situation. And the other part of the new launch is things called beatboxes. Those are $20 sets with 70 something pieces. They come with a minifigure and a small build to work with the app. You can see the box is kind of very brick head C. Uh, so it's kind of like, it's gonna probably be collectible over the long run as Brickheads are with series in between seasons. So first one, we have the Hip Hop Robot Beatbox. Uh, super cool uh, Daft Punk vibes here. Uh, it's like somebody said, it's a uh, minifigure series 2077 <laughs> of sorts. Really cool head mold. I mean, that minifigure is awesome with golden elements to it. Daft Punk all the way, uh, very futuristic. So this is what the beatbox will offer you. A sort of like a display stand that looks like headphones or a carry uh, carry box that looks like a headphones, but this uh, disassembles into becoming a stage for your app functionality. These come with a bunch of tiles and apparently they are random. I think some of them are specific to the minifigure, but a bunch of these will be random. So apparently Lego is offering 130 tiles for different moves uh, for the dancing app uh, uh, along those. 130 in series one only. Can you imagine? Uh, we're gonna have like by the end of the year, if it keeps going, we're gonna have like a thousand to collect. And those are all printed, so it's gonna be super cool uh, prints that people will just get crazy over collecting, I believe. Like they're gonna ignore the app and just gonna collect the tiles. I think that's what's gonna happen. The next one is the Unicorn DJ Beatbox. And I can tell you that my girls will absolutely want this one so bad. We have a mini <laughs> Unicorn minifigure head. Brand new mold, super cool, of course, a different colored beatbox. And so those, I'm not sure if those styles, I think those, those styles are just randomized. They're gonna be randomized between each box. Uh, minifigure is awesome just because of that. Uh, very unique skin color and just the unicorn head. I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's amazing. 
The next one is the Party Llama beatbox. So this is the one that was teased from the, the initial teasers of video. And also that's the one that kind of people say is teasing Fortnite in Lego or Lego in Fortnite in the near future. So the Llama is also gonna be a fan favorite just because of that, oops, too, too far, uh, of that super cool head mold with the crazy party glasses and maracas. And he even has um, skateboard, uh, roller skates. On top of that, and a very colorful, like reggae kind of like uh, beatbox color uh, that looks great. Then there is the Alien DJ beatbox. This one is also somewhat Daft Punk, a sort of a very interesting mold of sorts. Uh, and I just the color with different sh shades of blue comes great in this minifigure. Uh, probably top three for me when it comes to quality of the minifigure. You can see where I'm going with this. I'm really into minifigures of video. I don't really care as much for that up really i just want the minifigures i think they are freaking fantastic i love them uh, this guy is like top three easily and then we have the punk pirate beatbox this guy comes with uh, uh well a guitar that looks like an anchor like a you know a ship anchor which is unique of course and uh, cool like uh head headwear head mold uh, hair mold on top of that and just crazy dude like every video minifigure so far uh, there's the Candy Mermaid beatbox with a Candy Mermaid with a pink guitar and a, a body that looks like a waffle cone with, with ice cream on it. And look at that hair mold. That is amazing. Just the pieces alone offered in video are something to be worth um, getting uh, into a bit, I guess. And it's worth mentioning that the beatbox set, uh, each represent a new kind of hybrid a music genre that's introduced by video for the app functionality and for the theme lore. So we have Candy Pop represented by the, by the mermaid, the Pirate Punk by the pirate guy, the ETDM, which is extraterrestrial dance music with the Daft Punk guy number two, uh, the Tropicon, which is kind of a reggae thing going on with the Llama, k pop which is a play on a K-pop with the Unicorn Girl, and uh, the uh, Daft Punk guy number one is representing Robo Hip Hop. Kind of cool. I, I, I want to say that, that they put a lot of work into it. And just to wrap things up, this is the breakdown on, on how the, the special effects work. So you beat, you collect the beat beats, uh, as I mentioned, 130 available around uh, the first series. Uh, you click on the uh, on the beat beats, scan your stage, get creative, and just put the effects throughout the video as the beat goes on. <laughs> if you will, again, I'm gonna refer you to David's video because I think he really showed the, how the app works, and uh, it's it's really cool to see. In case you don't ever wanna use it, you can actually see how how it uh, actually works. That's it. Video. A video about video has concluded. Uh, are you guys on my page with this one? Minifigures, yes. App. I don't know. It's like Hidden Side. I'm gonna. I have the same feeling as Hidden Side. Great. Hidden Side was great sets, great colorfulness, super cool minifigures. I enjoyed these sets. Quite frankly, I did. Honestly, I did. Uh, I played the app maybe once, twice, few times, whatever. But I never had the urge to come back to it. I know that this is not. I'm not the target for video. This is for kids. This is meant to be replacing TikTok and more. Uh, volatile social media, uh, so the kids are not, you know, exposed to those craziest pieces of content all out there, so they actually can have a safe environment to create music videos and have fun with it. But, in my opinion, um, like, I'm a father, I don't think my kids would love it. I actually try to cut their screen time instead of introducing them to more screen time. Uh, so this this theme is great for the minifigures, and I'm sure if I if I bought a few sets for these, I can tell you that my girls would open them, have fun with the minifigures, uh, make some role playing scenar scenarios with the minifigures. But if I told them that there is an app for that, they would maybe just probably look at it and make a video one or or two, and and then stop doing it probably. But they still enjoy the minifigures. Just I would like as if I was buying them as adult, uh, I would totally just go for the minifigures and those colorful printed tiles which are just fantastic so in that department lego absolutely succeeds with the craziness colorfulness of the minifigures uh, prepares the ground for fortnite but the app itself maybe i'm gonna have to try it to see it for myself and see how i feel about it but for now i don't feel uh, i don't feel you know really attracted to this that much. Minifigures great, up not so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this longer video about the breakdown of the first series, first wave of LEGO video. Well, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I wanna see what you guys, how you guys feel. Do you, are you on the same page with me here or is there something you wanna add to what I had to say today? Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, maybe become a member and do all those things and I'll see you 
in the next video. Peace out. Bye.